Today we are looking at Superbase Realtime in combination with PostGIS to paint real-time location data onto the map. Now Superbase Realtime allows you to do a couple of different things. So for example, in broadcast mode, you can send thermal messages from one client to uh, many other clients with low latency. You can track and synchronize shared state between clients. So um, that is called presence. And then also you can listen to changes in your Postgres database. And so that is what we want to do today. So we're going to use uh, a Superbase Edge function to uh, insert location, real-time location data from uh, a Telegram chatbot uh, into our database. And then we're going to draw that live location onto the map in um, an XJS React application. Okay, let's have a look at the code. So first of all, we want to enable PostGIS so we can easily store location data in our database. Now, there is a video, I'll link it below. Um, you can check out if you haven't um, worked with PostGIS before, maybe have a look at how that works. So in our migration, we'll just uh, enable the PostGIS extension, importantly, do enable it on a separate schema. And then we can do this, we're just creating a locations table. So here we're just tracking some event ID, the user ID, um, a created at timestamp. We're tracking the latitude and the longitude as double precision, and then also as a geography point. So the way we insert a point um, is just using point long latch. And then we're just setting up a bunch of um, foreign keys. So um, don't have to worry about that. In this case, you know, we're just tracking this. And then we are altering um, the role level security policy. So we're making sure that we only allow public read access. Um, so that will be, you know, broadcasting this uh, our real time location uh, in this case. Now we're also setting up um, a remote procedure call specifically to insert data into our function. The way we're doing this is we're um, doing uh, sending a timestamp, we're sending our latitude, our longitude and a user ID. And then what we're um, inserting here is basically, in this case, we're just checking that um, there is an active event uh, in our sessions, the user ID. So um, we're then getting kind of the event ID into the active event ID. So this is basically how we're, you know, getting kind of the event ID based on the user ID. And then we're inserting that into our public locations. And so specifically here, we are um, using ST point to uh, insert our to basically generate our geography point, which we then can use in PostGIS to do, you know, a bunch of different things where we can, um, you know, calculate the distance we can, you know, generate uh, GeoJSON that we can uh, output to load on the map. So PostGIS gives us a lot of power here. So we'll just store it as um, a geography in our database. Now, what we need to do is we also need to enable the real time subscriptions. So we can do that in our dashboard as well. So we can go to database and then publications. And you can see Superbase real time, um, you can um, you know, select here which tables you want to uh, track real time on. So in our case, we just want to track it on um, locations on the public schema. And that's it. The way this is represented in um, your SQL migrations, if you want to put it in there, is you drop the publication if it exists, and then you create the publication uh, supervised real time. And then we alter publication supervised real time to add the table public locations. Okay, so that's it. So now we have real time set up and we can use it in our uh, JavaScript library. 
Now, first of all, the way we are inserting our locations, um, we're doing that through a Superbase Edge function. So you can see that here. Of course, I'll link the source code below um, again as well. So in our case, we're using the Grammy framework, which is a great open source framework for handling uh, Telegram bots. And then what you can see is we're doing um, so in the case that we're getting a, a live location broadcasted to us, we're um, just reading out the location and then we're inserting it into our um, database using the remote pr procedure call. So in this case, we're using the um, Superbase service role key for inserting into the database because um, we have RLS turned on and then we're just inserting the user ID the lat long and the timestamp. And then that is um, inserted into our database um, correctly. So now switching gears to real time, uh, real time really couldn't be um, easier to set up. So we use our Superbase um, client here, Superbase, um, we're just creating a client um, using uh, the uh, Superbase SSR. So in this case, it's just an um, Next.js application. Uh, we're here on the client side. So we're creating um, a browser Superbase client so that we can use uh, real time, which uses WebSockets on the client side to uh, listen to changes in the database. Now, the way we're setting up real time changes um, really couldn't be simpler. We're just saying Superbase channel. So we're listening to schema DB changes. That is a channel and then specifically on Postgres changes. So we can specify a couple of options here. In our case, we are only listening to insert events on the public schema on the locations table. And then we can also filter um, this down. In our case, we cache a lot of, you know, location data from different events. So on this page, we're, you know, looking for a specific event. So we're just putting the event ID. Um, and we're just saying when when the event ID equals the event ID from um, the parameters here, then um, we want to get the real time. Now the real time payload, um, we get and we can cast it, we can inject our types here, um, which is from the tables location, uh, database types there, uh, I'll link you some documentation on how to generate these types to use in TypeScript. And then we're just using um, a location reference, because here, you know, we're in react, and we're setting up our real time listener in a use effect. So we need to pass a reference to our state uh, use state um, reference to then update the um, different locations of the different users. So we're tracking, you know, multiple different users here as an example. And so we're just inserting basically based on the user ID, we're then tracking the location. Okay, so what we can do now is we're just doing a console lock. And then you know, anytime we get a new payload, we're setting the location and we're also console logging it out. Now here we're using um, a great tool called um, proto maps, proto maps has a PM tiles protocol. Um, there is a video on how you can use proto maps to host your own maps on Superbase storage, I'll link that below as well. So you can kind of end to end build your, you know, geospatial applications on Superbase. And then really what we're doing here is just we're um, using react um, map Libre uh, GL for react, uh, using proto maps here to um, paint our map. And then we're just basically using react to loop through all our locations. Um, and then, you know, paint a marker onto the map. So that's great. So what we can do now is we can run this up, maybe um, test it out. So npm run dev. We'll head over to um, our real time map here. And so now we're waiting for updates, you can see that we're subscribed. And so now if I go to my um, telegram bot, and I select the live location sharing. So I say share my live location until I turn it off. So you can see now I'm sharing my live location here 
uh, on the Telegram bot and right away we're writing our location to the database and we're getting our updates here. And as we're getting our update, we're painting our map um, and we're painting it here. So this is where I am right now. You know, if you want to come find me, if you find me in the next 10 minutes, I'll give you a super cap. Uh, <laughs> Well, anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how we can use Superbase real time to broadcast live location data. Um, you can see we're also inserting it into our table here. So our locations table, um, we're inserting our real time um, location data, our lat long and our also our location geography, which we then can use to, you know, do some really, really cool stuff with PostGIS, where we're tracking, you know, distance, um, generating geojson, kind of all these things. Cool. Yeah, so that's it. Really a, a, a short and sweet one because uh, Supervis real time is just so convenient to use. Do let me know um, what other geospatial things, PostJS or, you know, real-time storage things you would like to learn about. And we can see if we can get a video up and running for you. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.